गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर एयर वाटर एंड वेदर सो लेट अस इमीडिएटली स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टिक द करेक्ट आंसर एंड फर्स्ट इन दैट लिस्ट इज चेंजेस इन द वेदर आर कॉज प्राइमरीली ड्यू टू सन क्लाउड्स रेन विंड सो व्हाट शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द पिक्चर द करेक्ट आंसर इज सन ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Clothes take long time to dry, and the options are when the weather is windy, when the air is wet, when the temperature is high, when the air is dry. So, what should be the correct answer? Right, when the air is wet. Okay, when the air is wet, the clothes take long time to dry. Let us move on to the next question. The process of changing of liquid water into water vapor is known as evaporation. condensation chlorination decantation what do you think is the correct answer right the correct answer is evaporation the process of changing liquid water into water vapor is known as evaporation let us move on to question number 4 which of the following is not a way of purifying water the options are sedimentation chlorination filtration cooling so what do you think is the correct answer right cooling cooling is not a way of purifying water rest of the options like sedimentation chlorination filtration all these are ways of purifying water let us move on to question number 5 frost is formed when it is very hot windy raining very cold so what do you think is the correct answer before i answer the question this is how frosting takes place okay so what do you think is the correct answer right the correct answer is d very cold so frosting happens the frost is formed when it is very cold okay students let us move on to the next question question number b change the underlined words to make correct statements rewrite the correct statements in your notebook and first in that list is the season changes from day to day so whether this season is correct or not that we have to think upon then The second question is the revolution of the earth on its axis causes day and night is it revolution we don't think so in dash the days are longer here they have given winter now let us see the correct answers well the correct answers are the weather changes from day to day okay season doesn't change season takes time to change okay second is the rotation of the earth on its axis causes day and night and not revolution and third is in summer the days are longer okay let us see next question a flame burns downwards is it right no it should be upwards hot air is heavier than cold air this is also wrong it should be lighter in coastal areas hot winds blow towards the land it should be cool winds now let us see correct answers see a flame burn upwards hot air is lighter than cold air and in coastal areas cold winds blow towards the land during the day so these are the correct answers seventh question fog is caused by tiny white flakes falling from the sky is it right no snow is caused by tiny white flakes falling from the sky well students now let us move on to the next question the next question is write short answers and the first in that list is what do you mean by weather here you will write weather is a condition of the atmosphere surrounding us at a particular time in terms of temperature atmospheric pressure wind and moisture so this is answer to the first question second question how is condensation different from evaporation here you will write the change of water to water vapor is called evaporation the change of water vapor to water droplet is called condensation so these are two different phenomena third question what are two types of impurities in water here you will write the two type of impurities in water are soluble impurities and insoluble impurities fourth question what is chlorination well the answer is adding chlorine tablets in water kill germs and makes the water pure This process of purifying water is called chlorination. So when you add chlorine tablets so that you can kill the germs from the water. This process of purifying water is called chlorination. Okay students. Now fifth question define water table of an area. The answer is the level 
of underground water in an area is called water table. Now students we will answer next question and which is answer these questions. These are the long answer questions. And first in that list is what is land breeze and how does it occur? Here you will write the flow of the wind from land to water is called land breeze. When the temperature of the land is lower compared to the adjacent water body, the cooler air from land blow towards the sea. It happens during night and early morning. Then second question, how is hell different from snow? The answer is when rain drops pass through very cold regions of atmosphere, they freeze and become hell. When water vapor is suddenly cool, it freezes into tiny white snowflakes or snow. Then last question for the day, what are different ways of purifying water? Here you can write, the different ways of purifying water are sedimentation and decantation. In sedimentation, impurities heavier than water are allowed to settle down, leaving water clear. In decantation, we drain this clean water into another beaker. As you can see from the picture, this is a process of sedimentation and decantation. Then the next way of purifying water is filtration. Here you can write, in filtration, insoluble impurities are removed by passing the impure water through filter paper. As you can see from the picture, here there is a filter paper and this impure water is poured into the funnel where there is a filter paper and there you get a pure water. The insoluble impurities can be removed through this process. Well, students, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can put your questions in comment box. See you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.